What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about an easy way to use solid tools to cut holes in objects in your model. So if you're looking for more time-saving tips for SketchUp, make sure to check out my free SketchUp tips guide at thesketchupessentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I got a question a while ago about the easiest way to cut a bunch of holes into a shape like this one. And so um, one of the things you could do if you really wanted to is you could just draw a circle on one of these faces and then push pull through like this. And then you could start kind of copy pasting that geometry, but then you'd have to delete out edges and intersecting things with your model. And it just really, really wouldn't be very pretty. I mean, it would definitely be in here. You could definitely do that, but um, it's probably not the best way to go about that. And so I was looking for like a quick, easy way to cut a bunch of holes in an object like this one. And uh, probably one of the easier ways that I came up with is to use solid tools. So if you remember, solid tools is one of the tools in SketchUp that allows you to basically change the way that solids interact. So objects that, uh, that don't have any holes in them or internal geometry are considered solids by SketchUp. And so what we would do in this case, if we wanted to do that, is I would create a hole like this one and I would put it outside of my group of the object that I wanted to cut through. And what I would do is I would double click on it and I would make it a component. And what I would do is I would call this just hole or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you call it. And uh, we'll make sure the box for replace selection with component is checked and we're gonna click create. And so then once we do that, we're just gonna make our copies. And that's kind of the nice thing about this is this allows us to come in here and create all of these different copies and I'm using the move tool in copy mode right now and I'm just adjusting the number of arrayed copies that I'm creating in here um, but that way we can come in here and we can lay out these circles in whatever way that we want to um, before we try to cut holes or anything like that so let's say for example that I was to maybe take these holes and kind of put them in the center like this so I would just use the move tool in copy mode again in order to place my holes. And so once we've got all of our holes added here, what we can do, because these are all components, is we can actually actually push pull these in order to give them thickness. And then once we push pull these to give them thickness, you can see how they're intersecting with our model right now. And so once we do that, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use solid tools, which is built in in the SketchUp Pro version in order to cut our holes. And so there's two different ways that you could do this. The first is that you could use the subtract mode and do each one of these individually. But obviously that's gonna take a certain amount of time. So the way that works is you use subtract mode, you click on one solid, then you click on the other solid, and it'll subtract that in here. But you can see how each one of these, if you did this individually, this would take a lot of time. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna subtract all of these at once. And so you can't do that just by selecting them all. You can see how this tells you this requires exactly two solids. So what you can do instead because these are all individual solids is you can group all of these together and then you can go inside of this and explode all of these and you do have to be a little bit careful because when you do this um, these aren't components anymore but I'm gonna go ahead and explode all of these and then I'm gonna click outside of this group well now this group um, contains a number of different solids but it's being treated like one solid you can see how this is in here as a solid group because all of the geometry in here is solid and so what that means is now I can come in here with the subtract tool and I can click on the first solid and then the second solid and it's gonna come in here and it's gonna cut holes for all of these so it's gonna remove the geometry where the first group was intersecting with the second group and I will say that this does take a while so it'll sit here and spin for maybe a minute or two doing this actually that went really fast that actually went a lot faster than I expected it to but you can see how that's a quick easy way to cut a bunch of holes in a shape um, really easily and I would recommend maybe when you do this um, possibly like making a copy off to the side before you do this um, just in case you have to change any of your spacing or anything like that but you can see how that was really easy this is still in here as a solid group because we use the solid tools interacting with each other so that's where I'm gonna end this video leave a comment below let me know what you thought 
was this helpful to you? Did you know you could do this with solid tools? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.